Um, hello, I wanted to make a video um, as a response to a video by Learn Electronics Repair uh, channel, uh, video number 222 if I'm not mistaken. Um, the subject of the video was um, how to trace a short um, on methods uh, that you can use to trace a short. Um, so, uh, the question uh, at some point was uh, how to desolder something that is weld to the board, which will typically be a MOSFET or DR MOS uh, hybrid. Mm. So, the uh, hybrids are basically uh, two MOSFETs or three MOSFETs uh, with a driver and some other features. So, uh, as this is a donor as you can see, there was uh, a failure. Uh, so, yeah, this is my donor board. And so, we have welded uh, MOSFET on this one. And uh, I wanted to show uh, how I do it without, because I don't have like preheating thing or really nothing so I'll be only using um, hot air with a as uh, low temperature as possible uh, and I want to remove it the the board in question on the live uh, video uh, unfortunately there were caps like these uh, nearby so I thought okay e this is not the case here because these are pretty far away but um, yeah, uh, I still want to use uh, as uh, little heat as possible for this one. First thing first, uh, this is the tool I'll be using. Uh, it's called Tremor 4000. And to be uh, perfectly honest, I don't know what the cost of uh, such a thing is. Because I just uh, stole it from <laughs> my daughter. She uses this for art. Um, she can do certain things with wood and stuff like that. So uh, you can use it directly. You can use it uh, with this uh, extension cord of sorts. Um, yeah, so I'll be using this. Um, a hot air station. Uh, a bit of uh, solder. And the solder there and a bit of flux. It smells like uh, a bit like <laughs> a dentist. Uh, but what I'm using here is this. It's a grinding stone fitted on this extension cord. As, as you can see, I'm just taking the MOSFETs uh, upper layer with it. So basically I'm using the <clears throat> uh, preset, is low, the lowest preset right now. It's just five, but it goes up and up, you see, to 35. So I'm using number five and I'll ground it some more. This now looks like a Hiroshima, as <laughs> one guy says. Um, I'll try to show, show it better. So see, everything is covered with dust right now. Uh, but we exposed the insides of the MOSFET. Uh, you can clearly see the metal. And mm, I'll take a cotton swab, a bit of alcohol to clean it up. Basically, you could just <laughs> just blow it away, but I don't want to do that right now because this stuff, let's see, uh, it's pretty dirty. So. I don't want it everywhere, so yeah, now it is cleaned as much as I want it to be clean for this video. <laughs> uh, 
Um, but yeah, maybe you now see better the uh, the outcome, right? You see, all metal now. So there is no nothing that stands between us and uh, bare metal all the way to uh, the PCB. And that was the first step. The next step will be to add uh, leaded solder. Oh, low metal solder of any kind. You can use bismuth. I know there are people that don't like leaded solder. So uh, as far as it goes, it, it, you you just want something low melt. Now it's time to add a flux, whatever flux doesn't really matter. Just what matters is, at least for me, what works is I add a lot of it just to help the solder flow inside. <laughs> The chip, uh, this MOSFET here. Uh, what's what's uh, good about it is that the MOSFET is really made from two parts, two separate parts, and that helps us to get the solder between those parts uh, as well. So, what we really be doing? Oh, I have a wrong thing. It doesn't matter. Um, will be taking advantage of the topology of the of, of this chip so now i add a lot of a lot doesn't need to be perfect it will flow with hot air yeah a big blob of solder added All right Turn on the hot air. Uh, let's set it 370 degrees. Could, could probably go lower than that. So let's start with, I don't know, 350. Maybe. I never tried this with 65% air. 350. Oh, let's go. If 350 doesn't work, I'll use what I normally use, 370, but you know. Let's try, why not? This will take ages. And it stinks. Yeah, we have the leather soldier now melted. So, help it around. I'm poking it because I want the low melt as close to the PCB as it gets. And now I can see the entire thing moving. I don't think 350 will do it. Yeah, let's go. My normal. Normal settings. 370, 70% there. 
it will sometimes come off in two parts from this but the main thing oh yeah it's coming out it's coming out in here so yeah so 370 is what we want right it's a bit of a mess but it doesn't matter oh. there is a chip Everything's covered in solder right now, the entire thing. So, the, like I said, I've added a lot. Uh, oh. So, you want to uh, wick it out. Yeah, and uh, basically, that's what I do with uh, things like this. Uh, suffered a lot of heat, uh, welded the components into the board. Yeah, thanks for watching.